Is oil made from dinosaur fossils? Let's cut straight to the chase. No, oil is not made from dinosaurs. It is a persistent myth almost every paleontologist has been asked at least once. Hell, even paleo-obsessed kids, teens, and young adults are also asked this question. You may have learned about this idea in school, read about it in books, or heard it from people who know a lot about our world. There's a cutesy and now quite old meme that bounces around every so often that shows a collection of small dinosaur toys. The caption reads, If oil is made from decomposed dinosaurs and plastic is made from oil, are dinosaur toys made from real dinosaurs? It's a fun idea, but no. Yes, but actually no. How did this myth start? It's tough to say. People have thought about oil for an awfully long time. Before the Industrial Revolution, people knew about oil, tar, and asphalt and used them in a few ways. The Sichuan Chinese used iron bits on bamboo lines to drill for oil and gas. The gas was brought into homes through bamboo pipes where it was used to heat and light the rooms. In the 8th century, native asphalt was used to pave the streets of old Baghdad, and tar has been used for a long time to seal the wood in ship hulls. But these early users did not say that dinosaurs were to blame for the oily things on Earth. I mean, they had never heard of dinosaurs. Even though we have always lived on a planet that sealed away its past secrets in rocks and fossils, us naked apes were blind to what any of it meant until relatively recently. Humans have been isolating enzymes, accurately measuring distances between solar bodies, and vulcanizing rubber for tires before even the inkling of dinosaurs would enter the public consciousness. That, of course, eventually did occur in the mid-1800s, thanks to old Sir Richard Owen's writings. He grouped three known reptiles into a new group which he called Dinosauria. Thus, the myth that petroleum, gas, or oil comes from dinosaurs is definitionally a modern myth. The modern oil industry traces its origin back to the wildcatters of Pennsylvania, who began tapping into shallow Appalachian oil fields in 1859 the low-hanging fruit of petroleum. These deposits date all the way back to the Paleozoic era, the age before dinosaurs. Only about 25% of the world's supply of oil can be found in rocks this old. Most petroleum, 54%, is found trapped in the rocks of the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods of the Mesozoic era. The Age of the Dinosaurs Geologists hoping to tap the Earth's black gold followed the strata out west to the Great Plains and beyond, to the Rocky Mountains, the Colorado Plateau, and the Basin and Range, where vast expanses of Mesozoic deposits host a significant percentage of our planet's petroleum wealth. Fossil fuels are just that, combustibles of ancient biological origin preserved in rock. But they're not made of dinosaurs. There were never enough dinosaurs in the world to generate the Earth's great stores of oil, and dinosaurs lived in the wrong environment anyway. They were all terrestrial creatures. Oil comes from decaying marine organisms. But if you say the word fossil to the average person, even in the context of fossil fuel, what comes to mind? Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are the poster children for the past. They are emblematic of the ancient. When the coelacanth was first found alive, it was given the name dinosaur fish. Same went for the wallamy pine, which was found alive in Australian forests after first being discovered through fossils. It's the dinosaur tree. Dinosaurs themselves were the major land animals for 165 million years, which is but a fraction of Earth's 4.5 billion year history. Though there were a lot of dinosaurs, the Dinosauria proper only occupies a single branch on a tree of life full of branches and leaves. Nevertheless, dinosaurs are inextricably linked with the concept of fossils among the general population. It's no wonder, then, that dinosaurs are used in logos for oil companies. In 1930, Sinclair began using the image of Brontosaurus on their marketing material. People loved it. 
Then, in 1933, at the Century of Progress World's Fair in Chicago, they sponsored a large outdoor exhibition featuring nine full-size dinosaurs set into a reconstructed Mesozoic landscape. The response was overwhelming. 16 million people came to gawk slack-jawed at the giant beast's return from Earth's last great age. In the Sinclair Dinosaur book, a follow-up to their popular exhibition, Sinclair is nuanced about the relationship of dinosaurs to petroleum, writing about oil as if it were a fine wine. Sinclair uses dinosaurs to symbolize the vast age of the crude oils, which are refined into Sinclair Opaline Motor Oil and Sinclair Pennsylvania Motor Oil. By and large, the oldest crudes make the finest lubricants. It was during the lifetime of such prehistoric creatures that nature was mellowing and filtering under the earth the crude oils which are refined into Sinclair Motor Oils. After their blockbuster success at the Century of Progress, Sinclair never let go of the iconography of dinosaurs. To this day, you can find the green Sinclair brontosaurus watching over fuel pumps across the country. Their crafty marketing campaign sealed the link between dinosaurs and oil in the public imagination, drilling the faulty connection into the minds of nearly everyone. The bad wiring goes something like this. Oil is fossil fuel, and most of it comes from the age of the dinosaurs. Fossils equals dinosaurs, therefore dinosaurs equal oil. But if fossil fuel does not come from dinosaurs, then from what or where does it come? Plankton! Crabs! Plankton! Crabs! SpongeBob! That's right. Petroleum does not originate with the Earth's largest organisms. It begins with its smallest. Most of the biomass in any ecosystem is contained within the bodies of its humblest members, the ones way down near the base of the food chain. In the oceans, that's phytoplankton, also known as microalgae. These microscopic organisms, mostly diatoms and dinoflagellates, are wondrously able to turn starlight into food. Through photosynthesis, they produce proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, complex carbon-based molecules. Like most tiny organisms, their generations turn over rapidly. When they expire, their minuscule bodies rain down upon the seafloor, where they form organic oozes that may be miles thick. The next thing that happens is not unlike a cake recipe. If these biogenic deposits are buried by younger sediments and cooked by heat and pressure in just the right way, oil and natural gas may form. Taking the long view, petroleum is really a type of solar energy. That may sound nice, but it's not innocuous. When we burn it, we take carbon from another age, sequestered by ancient plankton, and dump it into today's atmosphere. There, it traps heat, causes global warming, and acidifies the oceans. In a sense, we're adding the power of the ancient Mesozoic sun to today's sun, and it's overheating our planet. Giving up fossil fuels entirely, though, won't be easy, at least in the near future. These substances are used for more than just producing energy. Plastics and many other products include fossil fuels in their recipes. Scientists and engineers will have to come up with environmentally friendly replacements for all those products if society chooses to wean itself off its current reliance on fossil fuels. Or, you know, simultaneously target the powers that be that profit off these resources as they are the actual reason why our planet is dying? Don't be naive in thinking anything you do will directly help when it is the evil of the one percenters that is the root of the problem. Perhaps moving away from capitalism is the correct course of action, but I won't go any further than that in fear of a mob of troglodytes in the comment section though even this section of the video will rile the fifis of some snowflakes, so whatever. Any good you do as an individual is still good, so don't stop. I'm sure this won't come as a shock, but don't believe everything you read on the internet. Dinosaur toys are not made from dinos. Well, they are, but not those dinos. They are made from dino flagellates that used starlight from another era to stitch together the carbon-based molecules that today we turn into plastic. A quick search revealed that there are actually plastic plankton toys available online. 
plastic plankton toys made of plankton. A much better and scientifically accurate meme. For more interesting stories about nature, the history of life, or what goes bump in the night, subscribe, like this video, drop a comment in the comment section below, and hit the bell icon to stay in the know with everything Edge. Thanks for watching. Special thanks to Elephant Tier patrons Abby Smith, Arda Bayer, Biotiverse, Cherry Shaw, Chris Frampton, Christoph Hubbinger, Dinosaur, Ed Peretz, Isaiah Garza, Jax the Hacks, Natty Cat, PA Brew News, Ray, Rudy Redgrave, Smiling Walrus, Staniforth Hopkins, Steve Bradshaw, Thea Svensson, and Extraterrestrial. As well as my top S tier Tyrannosaurus patrons Admin, Antron, Aphid Kirby, Cyber, Dana Manchester, Danny Van Heck, Henry Brennan, Iberospinus, Iron Bladesman, Joshua Mana, Panic, Radio 404, Robert Kessler, Ruben Zachariah, Swaffles is Weird, Teeny Dragator, and The Dogman.